Now, when we look at the NCDPI website, we find out more about Castle SEO. Its real goal is not to increase inclusivity in schools, but it's a program built, their words, not our words, built on anti-racism. And we found that as being used to reflect on and to address the impact of racism and other isms, whatever the heck that means in math and English and science. You saw the grades, you saw the trajectory. Do we really need to be putting this crap into our math and science classes? The critical race theory in North Carolina, it comes from the top, number one and number two. There is a foreign entity involved in setting that policy for North Carolina. So the last thing we want, right, is another country, even another state, but another country. Very disturbing stuff here. Um, the policy acknowledges that race is a part of equity. So we understand now when, it, when we think of equity, equity seems like a good thing. Race is at the center of it. So when we hear equity, we may think equality. That's a very good thing. Absolutely. Color blindness is a very good thing. Absolutely. But when they're talking equity, they're talking race. That's what this says. North Carolina Superintendent Catherine Truitt and a couple of unelected members of the state school board, they issued a similar statement. Their statement cited safety concerns and it accused parents of attending school board meetings and being violent and of using hostility and threats of force when they went to school board meetings to protest endless mask mandates, critical race theory, and hardcore pornography that's now been given to children in schools across the state. The DPI is rotten from the top down. They're trying to deflect, oh, go to your district tonight. We are going to show you how that is absolutely impossible based on the programs the DPI has coming out. It's time to take our schools back. It's time to take our public education system back. What you are seeing here, the attacks, the calling us liars, calling us money grubbers, this is completely inappropriate, but it tells us something. We are right over the target. The supporting documents for the social studies standards that were passed in February time are incredibly concerning and are continuing down the direction of indoctrination and, you know, in critical race theory based type of paradigm. And it also robs them, it robs them of hope because if, if basically if you are determined what you're going to be or who you are by the color of your skin and by your gender, then why yeah. even bother going to school, right? If they're already telling right. you that you're going to be a failure or that you are always right. going to be an oppressor and that you should apologize for your existence, why, why would you want to show up?